The research has been done, and the empirical evidence speaks for itself in tangible numbers. Numbers that represent reduction of cost and negative environmental impact, and influx of revenue and profitability. To be put in context, Professor Dr. Matthias Scherger and Professor Kenneth Holmberg. My name is Matthias Scherger. I'm a professor for tribology here in Karlsruhe, and I'm in charge of the Fraunhofer Micro Tribology Center. Although the first task with the guys from, from Nanol was to create an environment that is able to simulate a large diesel engine. The microscopic structure of the, the additive looks like a ball. The ball is a copper nanoparticle. As soon as there is a mechanical contact, there is so much power in the friction contact that this copper nanoparticle comes squeezed between the two surfaces. And squeezing means it reduces friction by easy shearing properties of this, this, this particle. Well, I am Kenneth Hornberry and I am professor working at the VTT, the Technical Research Center of Finland. Today we can say that one-fifth of all energy goes to overcome friction. There has come many new techniques with which we can decrease friction. But then there are other techniques and this nanol product with copper-based additives is interesting because you don't only apply them to new products, but you can apply them to all cars or to those ships that already have. You can use them in, in old products. And that means that basically you can have a quicker impact on the emissions and also on the global warming.